Now the women's 55 kilogram gold medal match. We talked about Sayori Yoshida of Japan, 2002 world champion. And she is up against Tina George of the USA. The crowd should get into this one. This is action from period number one. Well, we see here George doing a great counter attack, gets the point against Yoshida. Very solid wrestler, very strong, stronger than Yoshida. Maybe not quite as technically solid though. So we pick it up, Yoshida, 2-1 in period number two. Yoshida, 21 years old, Tina George is 24. Again, we saw them go out of bounds there. If they go out of bounds and nobody's in a control scoring position, no points are awarded, they come back to the center, and both wrestlers start on their feet. Here George has a single leg position, takes Yoshida down out of bounds. She gets one point for that, and they'll start back in the center in that referee's position. One point because the move started inbounds and spilled out? Exactly. Well, that's why they're starting on their, on, their, on their hands and knees. One point because Yoshida went down to her stomach as they went out of bounds. Score is 2-2 now. The second period action continues. Here, George is attempting what's called a gut wrench. She's got her arms around Yoshida's waist. She's trying to drive her over onto her back. This is a real hard move to stop. A lot of pain gets put on your ribs. Women will compete in four different weight classes next year in Athens, Greece. One of them is this division, the 55 kilogram division, and Yoshida will certainly be a favorite. Well, what we've seen at these championships are the Olympic weight classes are a lot more tightly competitive. Some of the wrestlers have come down to this weight class, some have gone up to this weight class to try to have a chance to compete at the Olympics. So there's more depth, more competition in the Olympic weights. Tina George is studying chemistry and biology at Colorado Christian College. She's a member of the U.S. Army World Class Athlete Program. Here you see in on George's leg. She wants to try to keep her in balance and pull her back to the center. That's very smart. A lot of times people just push them out of bounds and risk not getting a point. Yoshida didn't want to take that chance, so she pulled George back to the center. As soon as those knees touch, that's when you get the point. So that's what she was trying to do there. Gets the point, scores three now. You have to have three points to win the match. So that's a huge, huge point in this competition. That's right, a match cannot end 2-2. It will go to overtime. That rule in place to encourage scoring and action. Theoretically, <laughs> unfortunately, a lot of the wrestlers don't mind going into overtime. It's not a sudden death overtime if three points haven't been scored. So in effect, what happens sometimes is it just makes a boring match longer. The idea was to make the matches more exciting. Here we see Sauri on, on the leg. Again, she's trying to get George off balance. Pulls her back to the center, so she has a chance to take her down. If George can get out of here without her knee touching, then she escapes from having any points scored. There her knee touches, her right knee touches. The point would have been awarded. Tina George receiving a bit of medical attention. She appears okay. Coming back to the center of the mat. Well, and Bruce, this is a matchup of last year's World Championship final where Saori Yoshida beat Tina George as well. Here she's ahead, 3-2. Looks to be in pretty good control. Again, beautiful shot right in on the single leg. She's so quick. She sets George up well. Trying to keep her in the middle of the mat once again. Break her down, get behind, assume the control position, and pick up another point. That is awesome. She had George's weight going forward, then quickly shifted the weight back, got her down onto her butt. Because George's back wasn't exposed in that takedown, she didn't lose three points. She only gave up one point. Coach is imploring Yoshida to remain on the, the offensive and take this home. Just about a minute left now in period two. Once again on that leg. Are we watching a replay here? She is so fast and George just doesn't protect that leg very well. She leads with that right leg and, and her hands have to stay a little bit lower to, to, to counter Yoshida's shot. And for the third consecutive time, the same move earns a point for Yoshida, the single leg. The move to the control position, 5-2 is the score.
physically, George looks the more impressive of the two, but Yoshida has that quickness and technical superiority. Well, you know, you can be big and strong, but if you're not fast and technically sound, it's not going to get you very far. And then that's what we see here. Again, Yoshida in on the leg again, fourth time in a row. Uh, George has got to do a better job of protecting that leg. Time is ticking down on Tina George. Yoshida will just hang on and watch it tick away. There's no incentive on Yoshida here to take any chances. She just holds on for the win. Sayori Yoshida, the 2002 world champion, can now celebrate a 2003 world title in the women's 55 kilogram division. Well, and she is so solid technically. She's so fast. She's one of my favorite women wrestlers. She makes it look so easy. Here we see one of those finishes on that single leg. Again, pulling, pulling George back, getting her weight down, gets her down to the mat, scores that single point. And her celebration, Sayori Yoshida.